Well, in the uh, last presidential election, John McCain said that uh, torture was the moral issue of our day. Uh, and that's one of the handful of things he got absolutely right in the course of that election. Uh, and, and our uh, press has had an awkward time dealing with this issue. I think there's just no doubt about it. In fact, we can go over uh, just to take one example, our newspaper of a record, uh, and pour over it from the last several years, and we'll see that when uh, a neighbor in an apartment building plays loud music, that's torture. But when a prisoner is stripped naked, uh, left chained to the floor in a cell that has been overheated and then air conditioned to a near freezing point, left to writhe in his own feces for hours, that is a highly coercive interrogation technique which some critics of the administration call open quote, torture, close quote. Um, this certainly has not been uh, one of the best moments for our profession, for our media, but our prize recipient today uh, is, the, I'd say, one of the clear redeeming features uh, on the horizon. She has made a, a stronger contribution uh, to uh, the chronicling of uh, the torture story uh, than any of the other journalists uh, who have uh, uh, worked that field. Uh, and I think there have been quite a few, and quite a few who've made uh, important uh, contributions. Um, uh, but uh, Jane, I noticed in, in doing a little bit of research for today, I, uh, I, I was, uh, my attention was brought immediately to the fact, which I think I had known at one point and forgotten, that she's the granddaughter of uh, Alan Nevins, who's uh, one of the greatest American historians of uh, the last century. And I think when going back and, and trying to look at, at Jane's approach, and the way she writes, the way she presents her materials, I see the patience and the care of a historian. In fact, I thought back to uh, words that uh, Pierre Beldi, uh, Enlightenment philosopher wrote about uh, the craft of the historian. He said um, that uh, a historian must rid himself of the spirit of flattery and libel, must be beholden to no passion save the interests of the truth. Uh, and that, of course, is the core theme of the Reidenauer Prize here. And it's also essential to Jane's own writing. Uh, she detaches herself from the partisan currents of the day, uh, but she focuses in, in an absolutely uncompromising way on the truth and pulling out the truth. That's been uh, the characteristic of her work from the beginning of her career, I think, with uh, Strange Justice, uh, the book that she co-wrote with uh, uh, Jill Abramson from uh, dealing with the controversy uh, surrounding Clarence Thomas, but it's even more the case with uh, The Dark Side, um, which is the definitive account of the Bush administration's uh, descent into terror. Um, and I just note uh, that in the last three weeks, we've seen a lot of attention in the press played to uh, the disclosure of the Red Cross's report uh, about the treatment of the ghost detainees, uh, and uh, not to detract in any way from the wonderful work that Mark Danner did in connection with that, uh, when his piece first came out, I pulled out my copy of The Dark Side and flipped it open and found that, well, really, the essence of everything that Mark reported was already there in Jane's book, so she scooped him. Uh, uh, <laughs> and she's also far too modest to lay claim to that fact. Uh, but I think it just it shows how meticulous, how careful uh, she is in dealing with this material and pulling it out. Uh, so her book now uh, gives us a complete framework for understanding what occurred in the Bush administration. And I think it's particularly valuable not only for what it discloses, 
but also for the fact that she's charted out all the things we don't know yet. She's done tremendous preliminary groundwork for the investigations to come, and I, for one, certainly hope that we're going to have a commission of inquiry, that we're going to have prosecutions, but I take great solace in the knowledge that whether we have those things or not, we will have Jane Mayer to continue working on this story. So it's with great pleasure uh, that uh, we award the Reidenauer Prize, the Reidenauer Book Prize for 2009 to Jane Mayer. Thank you.